Oh yeah, that is a perfect medium rare, my friends. Stick around and find out how to make it. Stop here, and here we go. So take the steak out for 20 to 30 minutes prior to cooking, just so it gets all to room temperature. In the meantime, prep your sides, whatever that is. I'm doing carrots and onions because I love carrots and onions. You do you, it's your life, not mine. We're gonna peel these carrots and then chop them fancy. I don't know if chop them fancy is proper termage, but that's what we're gonna call it. So we're chopping these fancy, um, give them a little side cut. I've seen these on a Gordon Ramsay show once. Um, I just try to do everything Gordon Ramsay does, including the cool accent, but not, <laughs> not really. Um, so yeah, fancy cut carrots, here we go. Boom, bada, beep, boom, bop. Next, we're going to chop the onions and we're gonna chop them large. Um, when I say chop them large, I personally like them like the big chunky pieces because I just lightly saute them and I truly love onions. So, you know, you make the prep, you make the side dish, whatever you want. But if you want to follow along, I recommend the chunky cut here. So uh, chunky cut in and just get a good chop. And there we are. Cool. Back into the bowl with the rest of the carrot friends. Two to four garlic peels, uh, not peels, bulbs. So. You know, these are really big ones, so that's why I only have two. But if they're smaller, regular sized ones, you can use four. Um, totally up to you. I think that garlic is always better unless you are Dracula's son. Anyways, I digress. Smack the steak, let it get that blood circulation going, and boom, bada, beep, boop. Drop that steaky boy on your cutting board, and we're going to season it with salt and pepper. Salt and pepper is all you really need, honestly. That's just a good solid season on both sides. Make sure you do it thoroughly. Um, obviously to your preference as well. But usually salt and pepper is all you really need for a good season. So we're doing this, we're moving through quickly, we're good. And cool. Now we're just turning the pan up, right? So the pan has been turned up, been heating up. Non-stick test, good to go. Looks like we're good to throw in our fat, which could be oil or butter, preferably butter for me. Um, also the higher smoke, with a higher smoke point, butter might be more ideal, or a tallow or a ghee. Uh, you can use olive oil, but it's not recommended at a high temperature. So you do with that what you want. So now butter's in, nice and brown, it's looking good. Uh, we're getting up to heat here. As mentioned, we're searing for 30 seconds on each side, so we want to be on high heat uh, for that 30 seconds, roughly. You got to eyeball it for yourself, roughly. This is what works for me, um, and this steak is just under two inches thick, maybe an inch and a half, just about. It's quite the thick boy, so you you know it depends on the cut you have too. If you have a really if you have a really short skirt take, if you have a really thin skirt take, skirt take, skirt steak, then it's going to be a lot quicker, obviously. So. Eyeball it how you want, but for this thickness, this is the perfect kind of ballpark time you want to do. So now that we've seared on both sides, what we're going to do is we're going to sear off the sides. And when we sear, we're basically locking in the juices into the meat itself. That way there's no blood or any other um, flavors that can escape the steak. It's all kind of seared off nicely. And we're going to drop that temp all the way here in just a second. And we're going to do about 2 minutes and 10 seconds on each side. Uh, you'll see just in a second with the iPhone here. There we go. Looking good. We got a nice color. Boom, bada, beep. How ya doing? Now we're going to drop that heat all the way, as I mentioned. Um, and 2 minutes on each side. That's 2 minutes, 10 seconds, whatever you want to say. That's what you want for this kind of cut, roughly, for a... Um, nice medium rare if you want to do well done try three minutes on each side or four it just depends you got to eyeball it for yourself garlic goes in we are just kind of secondarily seasoning the steak uh, through the butter bath and we have some time also to season the butter and also to indirectly season the steak and then a little bit of rosemary is coming in right behind his friend time it's always a good time with these two. So anyways, uh, yeah, rosemary goes in. And another thing too, we're also creating the seasoning for the veggies that we're gonna saute. And also 
Off of that, we're creating a seasoning for the gravy we're gonna make at the very end. So now, here we go. Another two minutes on this side. How you doing? And then, perfect. We're gonna season our veggies, same as the steak. Salt and pepper, very simple. You don't really need to do a whole lot more than that. These are organic veggies. You do with that what you want. I recommend them, but totally up to you. Preference is preference. Who am I to tell you how to live your life? And um, yeah, so salt and pepper, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. There we go. There we go. It's looking good. We're going to finish up. We just finished our medium rare steak. Let's take that bad boy out, let him rest a little bit. Uh, we gotta let him rest, cause you know, you're just coming off a hot skillet. It's been a hard day at work. Let the man enjoy his relaxation, give him some R&R. We are moving now into the sauteing of the veggies or the side dish, whatever you want to call it. Add a little extra butter since, you know, the steak absorbed a lot of that butter bath. And what we're going to do now is saute these veggies and that garlic, that rosemary, that thyme, that salt and that pepper, and ultimately that butter. You have a beautiful marriage of just delicious flavors here. So when we saute, we just want to kind of go eh, roughly low, medium, a little bit of high heat and just kind of cover everything in that sauce and uh, get it slightly soft, but still maintaining that crisp. We don't want to cook it down all the way to being totally soft. Moving on now to that gravy, that good old gravy. Now we're just gonna add a little more butter again. And I know some of us might be thinking, oh my God, it's so much butter. This is really clean, healthy fat for us. The French love butter. They cook with it all the time and somehow they're skinny as a stick. If you're using high quality butter, you'll be fine. Also, it kind of depends on what else you eat too. Anyways, so butter goes in, mix up the gravy from what's in there, add a little bit of heavy cream. That heavy cream is gonna make it oh so creamy. Oh so heavy and good and juicy. So look at that, colors changing slowly. Now we got like a nice kind of light brown color, mixing all that beautiful gravy goodness in there. Taste test, adjust as needed. This is up to you, but I add salt, pepper, and garlic. With salt, pepper, and garlic, it's the core of many cuisines, I feel. So it's a nice way to just boost and enhance that already existing flavor of all those spices that we mentioned mixing together in that beautiful butter bath. Now we are adding a little bit of flour to thicken that bad boy up. Shee! So when we thicken this uh, sauce up with the flour, you're gonna notice really fast that it's gonna go from very liquidy to more of that thick consistency. We love that thick consistency, look at that. Boom, bada, beep, boop. You want to stir it up until you break up the flour balls and uh, until it gets that nice kind of gravy texture. And look at that. It's almost golden, like a light golden Dijon brown color. Boom, nailed it. There we go. There's our gravy, guys. We got our gravy. We are, we're good. We're like, we're, we're pretty much finished here. We just need to do the best part now. Cut open that beautiful boom, bada, beep, boop steak. How you doing? This is the medium rare check. Let's let's uh, hold our breath in, in anticipation to really just see, did we nail it? Oh my God. We got it guys. You guys, look at that medium rare. Oh my. Well, follow along and you can totally do this. It's very, uh, very doable. Now you can impress your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your parents, your family, your friends with that perfect medium rare steak. You might you might just open your own steakhouse at this point. So, you know, what you want to do with that, you do with that what you want. That was totally a tongue twister. Look at that. Boom, boom, bada, beep, boop, bop. Perfect crust on the outside, perfect medium rare on the inside. Plate those puppies and enjoy. You plate it how you want. I tried to be fancy here. Um, I was in a little bit of a rush because I'm hangry, but you know, you play it how you want. You could just eat it right off the cutting board. Sometimes I do that. Enjoy. Thanks so much guys for listening and please let me know if we have any questions down below. Like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Cheers.